Well, hello, and welcome to the Westchester Railfan channel. I think I'm going to do some of these voiceover um, opinion slash analysis videos every now and then. But um, today we have some a bit of news um, about the Long Island Railroad. Um, that Belmont Park Station will be getting service for the Belmont Stakes on Saturday, um, June 10th. Um, so here it is, the official press release. MTA is the best way to get to the 155th running of the Belmont Stakes on Saturday, June 10th. Um, this is from today, just about uh, five hours ago at 3.30. Um, it says the Long Island Railroad adds extra service for Belmont Stakes. Um, and just if for if anyone going to Elmont, uh, UBS Arena, there will be no service for most of the day. But I think that, that will get addressed. Um, uh, Grand Central Madison creates easy trip from the east side. Metro North riders can buy a combo ticket to the track. Um, via the Long Island Railroad Belmont Stakes brochure. We'll look at that in a minute. Um, but on Saturday, June 10th, the Long Island Railroad will provide extra service to the Belmont to Belmont Park for the 155th running of the Belmont Stakes with trains from Grand Central Madison for the first time. 21 trains will leave Manhattan between 9.26 a.m. and 5.03 p.m. 15 trains from Penn Station and six from Grand Central Madison. Trains will stop at Jamaica where riders from Woodside, Brooklyn, and stations on the Long on Long Island can board and then operate direct to Belmont Park. Immediately following the immediately following the race and continuing till Belmont Park closes, return trains will depart approximately every fifteen minutes to Jamaica and Manhattan. So then it goes on and on um, with information. So let's look at the brochure. So let's take a look at that. So here it is. Here's the PDF timetable. Um, there will be no service at, U at Elmont UBS Arena in either direction on Saturday, July 10th. I thought I saw a couple of late night and early morning um Hempstead branch trains. So I was looking at the revised Hempstead branch schedule, but I know there's gonna be I think some shuttle van or busing situation. We'll look at that in a second. Um all riders should use Belmont Park. Um so let's take a look at this. Belmont Stakes train schedule effective July tenth, twenty twenty three. Excuse me, June tenth, twenty twenty three only. It says June tenth, twenty twenty three only. Eastbound to Belmont Park, Saturday, June 10th, 2023 only. Okay. Penn Station, you see, uh, you got two trains an hour, one on the 26, one on the 48, uh, and then that one on the 48 moves up to 08. So it's about two trains an hour, one at the beginning. So, like, at the early points, there's two trains an hour out of Penn, then it starts out of uh, Grand Central. Um... Alternating, you have tw uh, 12, 13 minute gap here. Um, then you have a 21 minute gap. Then you have 20 minutes, 6 minutes. So you see some of the scheduling could be a bit better, but it's decent. Three trains an hour um, to Belmont Park. That's that's pretty good, but you're going to have large crowds, probably 12 car trains. Um, so if it starts at um, eleven twenty. Um, but I I don't know how this works. So um. So anyway. Um. So let's take a look. So out of Belmont Park, you're gonna have. Um. So out of Belmont Park, you're gonna have hour and uh, four away, five away, five twenty. So those are going to Jamaica. Um. And then 5.45 to Penn, 6.02 to Grand Central, 6.43 to Penn. And then it runs every 15 minutes 
take the first train uh, 15 minutes to Manhattan. Please board the first available westbound train transfer to your final destination. So probably, I'm, I don't know, um, they're just going to maybe alternate. Who knows what they're going to do. Uh, just throw people on the next train, change to Jamaica. Probably not going to be a pretty sight at Jamaica. Um, but also people, because people are going to Long Island. But it's good if you're on uh, Metro North. You can go and you can just transfer directly to the Long Island Railroad at Grand Central Madison. Um, um, but again, there will be no service to Almont. So if you're, and there are probably going to be some, um, Delays, I'm guessing, because you always you're gonna have those trains switching over very slowly. It's like five mile an hour trackage. Uh, I mean, it's gonna have to be because um, it's a buffer zone. But anyway, it's very slow trackage leading into Belmont Park. It doesn't need to be fast traffic because um, trackage um, because it's not the most used branch and it's really only for storage nowadays but it's good to see this line is not completely being abandoned um so this is a little diagram um long and number of personnel will be assigned to, at key locations to assist customers announcements will provide customers with train departure information wait times can range from 15 minutes to two hours once inside the queuing arena area customers can expect wait times of 15 to 60 minutes customers waiting to enter the queuing area can expect longer wait times for trains possibly up to two hours so that sucks if you are um that that's really it's really bad um in terms of yeah that, that's just not great that they they don't have a more efficient way of getting people around. Um Yeah, they, they, they should have a more efficient way of getting people around, but that's unfortunate that they don't. Um anyway, you can get the, the PDF timetable is down here. Um for the Belmont stakes on the um, regular schedule page, it's down here, um, and yeah, that's, that's the Belmont, um, stakes timetable, and, um, Belmont Park is returning for one day only on June 10th, tw uh, 2023, Saturday, June 10th, um, whether you're going to see the race, the races, or if you're going just to rail fan. Um, I don't know if you're necessarily going to go to Belmont Park itself to rail fan, but just rail fan the extra train trains, probably at like Hollis, Jamaica, somewhere like that. Um, but it's gonna be cool to see the park activated, uh, the branch activated once again. I'm guessing they're probably gonna do this just for the Belmont stakes. Um, I'm not sure. Um, if I don't think they'll. They're probably not going to do it any other time. Um, but yeah, they're probably just going to do it for the Belmont sakes. It's too bad the branch has been deactivated. Um, could really have like hourly weekend service to Jamaica. Maybe considering you're getting decent ridership on those Ronkonkoma trains, you could have like a all an hourly weekend train. So like you could have an hourly weekend train. Um, to Grand Central or Penn Station, and you could have an hourly um, weekend train, all stops, um, like, after a New Hyde Park to Ronkonkoma, so it could be making um, Huntington stops, uh, Huntington local um, that just goes to Ronkonkoma, considering those Ronkonkoma trains, when there's an event going on at UBS, do they, they do get pretty busy. You could have hourly service. You're going to have to do some schedule modifications because the branch is pretty busy now. The main line is pretty busy with the... You have probably five and a half trains an hour um, each direction. Probably five and a half trains an hour in each direction. So that, that makes it much more difficult if you're going 
um, to have special service like this, uh, have the train switch over, but still gonna get, like, maybe, um, you're gonna, you're still gonna get, like, 10 minute gaps between trains, which should be more than enough to switch over, but, like, on event days, you could have hourly service to Ronkonkoma, hourly service to Penn Station, Grand Central, Jamaica, wherever, um, but, um, uh, relieve some of the stress over, uh, that's been caught, that Elmont's UBS Arena has been causing, but, anyway, this is little fun um thing for rail fans and good if you're going to the Belmont Stakes a huge event but um yeah it's uh just going to be cool to see a historic branch line a famous historic branch line being reactive well reused for passenger service one more time i guess i'm hoping probably guessing that they'll be doing this once a year for the Belmont Stakes um but yeah, the Belmont Park branch is returning effective um, June 10th only. So if you're going to do some rail fanning or if you're going to the um, Belmont Stakes, this is a um, good thing for you. Um, June 10th, 2023 only.